Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am Aditi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Do you know what I'm saying? So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Mm. So, during my pre-shuffle, I was informed that my language is obsolete. Your language is obsolete. Now, this being said to someone who has constantly been misunderstood um, constantly uh, this kind of makes sense um, there are times when I will use a turn of phrase and people will assume that I mean one thing when I actually mean something completely different and for someone who likes to communicate with other people it gets frustrating you know it does <sighs> so yeah your language is obsolete. Let's see what happens. Let's see what messages we have regarding obsolete language. Hmm. Seven of Swords. Strategy. Being smart about how you move. Being calculating about how you move. Hmm. Okay. Two of Swords. Ooh. Two of Swords and Six of Pentacles. Okay. this down a bit because this pyramid is going to get a whole lot bigger. Make sure that everyone can see everything. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, being calculated about how you move, how you do things. Hmm. Probably figuring out how to make this language a little more uh, up to date. Uh, two of Swords, this is, hmm, yeah, yeah, this is the willful decision not to make one. And the Six of Pentacles, hmm, usually that's like giving, giving back to the community. Hmm. Choosing not to communicate. Let's keep going. Star. Five of 
Five of Swords. I saw you all in the pre-shuffle. Just all in the shuffling. I saw you. And the chariot. Hmm. Alright, so. Your language is opposite. Oh! Don't talk. Don't talk. Even when you're around people that you would assume are going to be on the same wavelength as you, you know, um, that you would assume that you're going to have an equal give and take with, um, looks like. Come here. The star, the five of swords, and the chariot. I mean, don't even worry about it. Don't don't even stress it. Just just don't talk, man. People are just gonna be bound and determined to misunderstand you. Whether it's out of malice or whether they're just consumed with their own stuff it makes no difference but there's always going to be a group of people that just are not going to pick up what you're putting down but i want to talk to people these people don't want to talk to you they don't want to talk to you judgment and just because you want to talk to people doesn't mean that you should because you're casting pearls to swine the judgment mm, like who do you think is adjusting the language these these people that you're trying to talk to they only need to hear what you got to say nine of cups you got something better coming. You got shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause then they're really gonna act like they know what you what they really gonna act like they understand you once your nine of cups is like blatant. You know? And they'll be behind the bars. Because they decided that, you know, they just didn't want to get it. And instead of... And because they didn't get it, all of a sudden, you're the one that is under scrutiny. Or that is cast aside. Cast aside. Or set apart. The Four of Cups. Two of Cups. And Eight of Wands. Oh, snap. There is something that is inherently in you that is unique only to you you think it's great and you want to share it you want to share it spirit's got spirit's got other plans for you you're going to share it but it's going to be in a different way not in its not in its raw form. It's got to sit in some lime juice for a minute. Here we go. High Priestess, yes. It has to sit in some lime juice for a minute. And actually get cooked. Whoa! Hold on. Y'all see me pulling these things randomly? Um, the choice is up to you. You can either continue to go on the way that you've been going and be frustrated because what you have to say 
is not being received in a way that you expect it to. Or you can choose to trust spirit and to trust the information that they're giving you. Now, just because they're giving information to you does not mean that you have to turn around, right around, and start uttering everything that spirit gives you. It's not always how this works. A lot of this is going to be strictly for you and your own edification. You know how like when you're doing sports or practicing an activity, you have the drills and then you have the stuff that you do for exhibition. A hierophant here uh, represents the exhibition, but the high priestess up top, those are the drills. You get way more in drills than you do in exhibition. Way more. The Empress. Okay, I see where you're going with that. Mm hmm. And I mean, way more. You're creating, you're creating your own world. And with the Four of Pentacles coming in, it's best that you keep this creative process under wraps for now. There are some people who are not where you are. Six of Wands. There are some people who are not where you are and they think that you think that this comes easy. That you can just say that it's going to be the thing and that it's the thing. Not understanding all of the work that's going on behind the scenes to even get to this. And some people can't picture that type of success for themselves, so they want to either tear you down or cut you off before the success becomes a reality for you because they want you to exist in the limitations that they have set for themselves. That's not, that's not what you're here for. It's not at all what you are here for. All right, five of cups. And that might have worked before you decided that you wanted to know who you are, page of wands. Um, it might have worked way back when, when you were worried about pleasing other people. Queen of Wands. Oh, shit. When you were worried about pleasing other people, making other people feel comfortable, you know, that whole chestnut. Uh, the world is here. That, that chapter is over. 100% over. Five of Pentacles. Um, and you're, you're perfectly fine with walking alone or if you're not, be prepared to be fine with walking alone. There are a lot of people running around here right now who are not comfortable spending time with just their own thoughts. Part of the power of the Five of Pentacles, yes, this is usually a card of like, economic loss, downturn, loneliness, left out in the cold. But what this card has to offer is the opportunity to cultivate inner strength. Um, 
in the Six of Cups. To cultivate the inner strength and to find inner peace when there is a lot of other things going on around you. Like, both of these have a, the Five of Cups and the Five of Discs both have like a removal kind of energy, a removal energy, not kind of, a removal energy to them. It is a card of growth in either way. It's a card of growth, emotional growth, physical growth. And there's a lot of building and shedding that happens as we go through the ebbs and the flows of life. The Page of Wands is the catalyst of change. The Queen of Wands is the nurturing truth. So, just looking at this here, You've got the catalyst of change coming through. And because change is difficult, the Queen of Wands is coming in as a way to walk you through this transformation. Also with the World Card, walk you through this transformation as you grow out of what you used to be into who you are and eventually into who you're going to be with the Six of Cups. Four of Wands, the Sun, the Magician, the Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, okay, okay. And the Knight of Pentacles. From who you were into who you are, eventually into who you are going to be. Come on, Spirit. Just you're just so good right now absolutely love it so with this four of wands here this is you know building the foundation this is setting yourself up this is um, setting a new baseline for what you it's a new baseline for you it's a new bottom line for you And this is for you. This is not for you and the comfort of others. I don't know why I feel the need to keep saying this. This is not for the comfort of other people. Yes, you are brought here to do and contribute to the greater good for everyone. But what we're talking about here is for you. This new bottom line, this new bottom line is a game changer. Between the sun and the magician, and let's not forget about the empress that came through here a little bit earlier. This is, this is new construction. This is a home, brand new construction. Oh, hallelujah. This is, I just accepted what was handed to me previously and just went through life taking a passive role. But with the Four of Wands, the Sun, and the Magician here, this has taken an active role in your life. Knight of Swords is still here clearing out the brush from where things were, right? And doing 
the messy work, getting these, getting these things out of the way so that you can actually lay down this foundation. You've got the King of Swords here telling you the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Fuck your feelings. Yeah, that people pleasing thing. Now fuck them. They want to be pleased. Let them find their own inner happiness. That's not your job. You are still able to contribute to the greater good without pandering to someone else's fickle emotions. Ooh. And while you're doing that, check your own. And the Knight of Pentacles coming in on this layer is reminding us to, again, pay attention to the small details because those are very important. Very, very important. Very, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't. One decimal in the wrong place changes everything. I mean everything. So, mind the small matters. Remove your emotions from this whole calculation because they're just going to get in the way and you're clearing things out here, right? As you are creating your space, your world, your whole world, and you're rooting it in longevity. Happiness and longevity. There you go. All right, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.